shadows are all around, consuming. Oh, my sight is fading out, blinding. You remind me of your song, resounding. Oh, my soul will rise to sing. Dear Abba Father, thank you for your greatness and for your goodness. You deserve all worship and all honor and all praise. And I pray that each one of us would have that grateful heart for who you are and how much you love us. I pray that we would be excited to learn more about you and to be more like you. We commit this time of service and worship to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Another way we can worship God is through our giving. So you may give your tithes and offering by following the instructions flashed on the screen. Hey kids, it's me, Teacher JC. And it's Teacher Annika! Welcome to the 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth week of our series called Christmas, Christmas Emojis. Emojis! By the way, Merry Christmas everyone! Hi kids and their families, Merry Christmas! Merry Welcome Christmas kids! And I'm sure by now we all have our Christmas trees up and are excited to open the gifts under it. How fitting! Because today, our Christmas Emoji Star of the Week is the Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. But before we talk about what is up with the Christmas tree and what we can learn from it, it's time for... Game Time! The objective of the game is to make the tallest Christmas tree using paper cups, all in one minute and the tree mustn't fall otherwise you lose by default again it's the legendary alliance versus the the wild wolverines <laughs> <laughs> i thought so yeah. all right yes. so let's play Getting bigger and bigger. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Who knows, Teacher Annika? Mine might just fall in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> Good try, Teacher Annika. Good try. And with I'm that, two cups lower. <laughs> GG. And with that, the winners are the legendary Lion. <laughs> <laughs> That was so fun! Yeah. Maybe you can try that at your home, kids! If you have enough paper cups. Yeah, and today we made Christmas trees because we'll be talking about the Christmas tree and what we can learn from it. Generally, Christmas trees are triangular in shape. And as Christians, that can remind us of the Holy Trinity. Yes, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, this Christmas, let's remember that it is God the Father who, through the power of the Holy Spirit, put Jesus inside Mary's womb so that He could be born on earth and save us from our sins. That's really beautiful. And now, let's watch this video and listen to the word. Merry Christmas, everyone! We have a special Christmas Day episode today, and I, your trusty Christmas tree, will be sharing the Christmas symbol next. Uh -huh. This ought to be good! Uh -huh. Thanks, Bells! Now, kiddos, gather around because today I'm here to talk about a Christmas tree! And it's just not any tree, it's all about the Trinity. This should be fun! Uh, that's, that's right! <laughs> You see, the triangular shape of the tree symbolizes the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They're three persons, but one God. Mmm, now that's deep tree. <laughs> now, in the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 9, it is written, For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. This verse reminds us that Jesus born on this special day is fully human, but He is also fully God. He is God, Jesus at the center of this season. We should be celebrating Him more than the gifts you see under your Christmas tree, because Jesus is the greatest gift of all. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. Ha! Ah, thank you all for celebrating Christmas with me, emojis. <laughs> Don't forget the real reason of this season, Jesus Christ.
Kids, it's Teacher Plum, and I'm thrilled to embark on another joyful crafting session with all of you. This week, we're diving into the holiday spirit by creating a special ornament for you. We're making a Christmas tree, and by the way, Merry Christmas, everyone! So, to make this ornament, so we have a Christmas tree ornament that we're gonna hang on a Christmas tree. So, to make this, we will need a paper plate. If you have a green paper plate, that's much better. We'll also need some glitter paper or any colored paper that you want. A tongue depressor. Some decorative stickers for our ornaments. Some double-sided tape or glue. Scissors. A single hole puncher. And some ornament string, of course, to make our ornament. Let's get crafting! All right, kids, the first step to making our Christmas tree ornament is to grab our paper plate and just cut it into three sections. Make sure to ask help from an adult while using the scissors. I know this can be a bit tricky. So this is my first section. And I'm just going to cut this into two. And that is my second and third section. So later we're gonna layer these to form our Christmas tree. Next, let me grab my single hole puncher and I'm gonna decide what I want as a top. So this can be my top. Punch a hole right over there. Now I'm gonna grab some ornament string and I'm just gonna thread it through the hole to make my ornament hanger. And there you go. All right, before I'm gonna glue these together, I'm just gonna grab some green crayons and then I'm just gonna color these green because I want my Christmas tree to look like the traditional Christmas tree. But of course, there are many modern Christmas trees that are pink, blue, so color your ornament in whatever way you want. And I'll be right back. And now I have my wedges in different shades of green, so I'm gonna grab my double-sided tape and I'm just gonna glue them together. Right over here. So make sure that your top wedge is actually on top. I'm using double-sided tape, but you can use any glue or tape that you have at home. And last. And for my tree trunk, let me grab my tongue depressor and put some double-sided tape on one end. Then I can just stick it at the back of my Christmas tree. So I'm almost done. It just seems like it's missing a star. So out of the glittery paper, I cut out the star 
So you can just draw on the side or the back side of the glittery paper and using some tape or glue, just stick the star on top of our Christmas tree. It doesn't have to be a star. You can put an angel or a teddy bear, whichever decoration that you like. And to finish my craft, I'm just gonna put ornaments on my Christmas tree using my gem stickers. And there we have it! A Christmas tree ornament for our Christmas tree! Now, did you know that one of the origin stories of the Christmas tree comes from a region in Germany? People there used to make Christmas pyramids, like triangles, decorated with candles and other ornaments. So as you can see, the three points of the pyramid symbolize the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So let this Christmas tree remind us of the incredible story of God's plan. It was God the Father, through the power of the Holy Spirit, who placed Jesus inside Mary's womb so that He could be born on earth and save us from our sins. And that's what we're actually celebrating this Christmas. So the Christmas tree isn't just a beautiful decoration, it's a symbol of the amazing love and grace that God showed us through the birth of Jesus. So if you're done with your Christmas tree, share your festive Christmas ornaments with us through email at craftykids at victory.org.ph. By sending in your photos, you and your parents or guardians are allowing us to showcase them in our videos and our website. Deadline of submissions is always Monday, 5 p.m. Philippine time. And remember, every photo you submit enters you into our craft raffle for the month of December, with winners announced on January 3rd Sunday. And that's it for craft time for today, kids. See you next week. Bye!